Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215, and right now we're in the state of Washington. We're currently in the city of Seattle, Seattle, Washington. It's about 51 degrees outside right now. We're gonna be doing a walking tour of downtown Seattle, Washington. The sun is starting to shine. It's a Friday, it's a work week. On my right hand side, we got the Kati Vegan Thai Food Restaurant. I'm gonna show you guys my surroundings so you get an idea. Now I'm gonna make a disclaimer. I'm walking my dog at the same time. So if I make any random jerks, I do apologize. Sometimes she smells scents and she follows the scent. Actually, there's a dog directly in front of us. This isn't gonna turn out too well. I'm gonna have to cross the street. I'm gonna have to cross the street because New Jersey isn't too social with strangers. She doesn't like random dogs. Check this out. We got the Cascade Apartments on my right hand side. We got a female over here on a little scooter, cool scooter. Hello. She had the Metropolitan. Metropolitan's a cool little city cruiser. I believe it's a 50cc, but I think they might make them in a 70 or 80cc model too. We got a little bit of graffiti right here. See it? In the downtown area. Even on this building, the Minor Avenue Children's House. They wrote on the Children's House. That wasn't cool. Yeah, that's not cool, writing on. An educational building, especially for kids. Nah, not cool. Minor Ave, John Street and Minor Ave. All right, we're gonna stop right here. Looks like they're making, what's that? Two high rises right there. You see those high rises? You got the graffiti slap stickers. Yeah, let's let this last car go by and then we're gonna cross the street. We're at John and Minor Ave. This is the 11,000, or I should say 1100, I do apologize, block of Minor Ave North. So it looks like they got balconies right there on my right hand side, you see them? It's probably like a luxury living space. And then the first floor, like most of those buildings, rented out for office. Office space, retail, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, wow, check this out. On my left-hand side, they have a public dog park. That's cool. Public dog parks are cool. It looks like a fancy public dog park, too. Nicely groomed. Uh-oh, there's a dog that's probably gonna run straight to us. Your dog over there? And if you want to see what my gal is looking like, look at her, look at her reacting. You see her? Yep. That's dogs for you, right? The animal kingdom. Let's continue moving forward. Wow, look at this structure right here, guys. See that structure? It's pretty interesting. Right now, that's probably one of the smartest cars to drive right there. That Geo, is that a Geo Prism? Listen, gas saver, baby, four cylinder. That was the smart car before the smart car became smart. <laughs> All right, we're at the 1100 block of Minor and Denny. Show you guys the environment. We got some graffiti. If you keep going down that block, you'll end up towards the waterfront. So what we are going to do is Cross. We're gonna cross here. We're gonna go probably another block or so up. I think I might take you guys through the Space Needle first. So you guys can get a good look at the Space Needle, which is one of the most notable landmarks here in Seattle, Washington. A life well-rounded. Restaurant and retail for lease. And in, in the first floor of this building, you see? 
So upstairs is probably a living space. Downstairs is restaurant, retail, lease, and all that space. Probably not cheap either. Considering that the median household value was around $800,000 here in Seattle. And to compare that to the state of Washington, the median home value in the state itself is around $500,000, about a half a million dollars. But here in Seattle, it's a little over 800,000 being the median average. So I'm assuming that renting one of these uh, retail spaces <laughs> doesn't come cheap. Probably talking about seven, 10, 15 grand a month and just rent because it's a business, you know what I mean? They got graffiti over there. They got another beautiful little furry dog. You see that furry dog? That's cool. Weird looking tree, right? <laughs> that was a weird looking tree. Look at this uh, e scooter. You got an e scooter. They got the little kiosk where you can pay. You see the parking kiosk? You got to pay for parking. Parking was one hour for a dollar fifty. Yeah, one hour for a dollar fifty. So if you want two hours, it'll be three dollars and so on. One fifty per hour. One thing I did notice is there's about five sites in the downtown area that are being worked on as we speak, you see? So if you think the skyline looks fantastic now, come back in five years, it'll probably look even better. $16 all day flat rate parking. I guess it beats spending $1.50 an hour, right? Oh wow, look at that balcony out there. There's people standing right out there on that balcony. You see it? I don't know if y'all can see it right there. That second story, right on top of the second story. Fairview Ave. We're on Bo Boren Ave, B-O-R-E-N, Boren. This is like a little intersection with three streets, Fairview, Virginia, and Boren. Thank you very much, ma'am. I do apologize. Stop it, stop it, stop it bad. Wow, the female was so nice enough to say, beautiful dogs. And Jersey wanted to greet her with jumping on her. <laughs> All right, let's cross here. Doesn't look like there's many cars. Yeah, every time I walk her, a lot of people um, always tell me she looks like a, like a tiger. She almost looks like a tiger because of the brindle pattern. And when she's walking from afar, you know what I mean? You see her? <laughs> uh, she's such a bully. She's such a bully. I had let her in one of these um, dog parks once. Not too long ago. I think when we was in, what was it, Oregon? I think it was when we was in Oregon. And we utilized their dog, was it Oregon? No, it might've been Cali, my bad. It might've been Cali, and we was in LA. We was at this campground for two weeks and we went to the dog park that was in the campground, right? And I tried to, you know, you know, attempt for her to socialize a little bit. And she was like picking on all the other dogs. The other dogs were so docile. And she was like standing her grounds. She you know, like, Jersey, why you gotta be ghetto? Why you gotta bring the Philly out? <laughs> why you gotta get all ghetto, huh? Wow, look at all those buildings. They got a lot of black clothes off too for work. We're at Terry Ave. All right, let's continue moving forward. There's another dog in front of us. Oh my gosh, I can't get a break when it comes to these dogs. This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to cross the street here. All right, it looks like there's no cars coming, so I'm gonna cross the street. Spruce Street School on my right hand side. Visit sprucestreetschool.org. That's some of their artwork, I guess, that the kids painted. See? Spruce Street School. You got a bus stop across the street. We got two white birds flying. Check that out. Y'all see them two white birds flying? I don't know if y'all can see them. I don't know if they're seagulls. Check this out. Some art. It's a reality. 
we're next to the 70 bus stop. That's the 70 bus stop across the street. They have a really nice downtown, man. I'll tell you that much. The city isn't that big as far as like land. I think they have a little over 80 square miles of land. To put that in comparison with my hometown, Philadelphia, PA, we're at around 141 point something square miles, almost 142 square miles. You got some people out there, looks like students. Look like they're working on a project. You got the Washington Talking Book and Braille Library. Wow, they got a Braille Library. That is cool. Braille is for the people who are visually impaired. That's the little bumps that they touch and it like basically tells them what something says. They got a Braille Library. So I can only imagine that every book there is probably like all bumpy, like there are all the bumps. I've never seen a Braille book. That's interesting. We got the Cosmopolitan on our left, 7-Eleven on our left. We got a Seattle police car right here. If you guys want to see what Seattle police cars look like, or if you're looking for work, seattlepolicejobs.com. You can check that out. That's an official car. Oh, he was on one of them unicycle wheels. They'd be out. Oh, explains a lot. The police department. <laughs> Seattle Police Department. That makes sense. So the Seattle Police Department is located on 8th and Virginia Street. We're on 8th and Virginia. All right, let's slow down here. We're on the 2000 block of Virginia. I'm gonna take a minute because we have the red hand. Red hand means wait. See the sun's coming out, shining so vibrantly. Show you guys what the environment looks like. This is CGI at its finest. All right, let's move forward. Retail space for lease. I understand why those businesses probably don't stay in those retail spaces for long because if you ain't making much money and you paying, you know, rent is probably 10 grand a month. You know, you gotta pay utilities, which is gas, water, electric, so on. Then you gotta buy your products. You gotta reinvest the material. I'm across cause there's no cars coming and I'm tired of like waiting here. So I'm gonna cross. As you can see, we're going under an awning. See the awning? So I guess if it rains, this would be a perfect spot to stand on a rainy day. And it's been raining all week, y'all. This is the first sunny day I've experienced in Washington, and we've been here for about a week. Maybe a little over a week. No, I'll say about a week. About a good seven days. And this is the first sunny day, guys. And the sun's just peaking. Oh, that's dope. It looks like they're capping the window frame. Yeah, they're capping the, the trims of the window. Yeah. The contractor to, I guess, refresh the window trims. Fair start, great foods, better lives. Oh, look at this. So what happened here with that bus? We got the gyro falafel lemon chicken hummus salads across the street. We're at seven from West Lake. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn. See that bus? That bus looks like it. Like it may possibly be broke down, like like on the corner. See it? All right, let's continue moving forward. Yeah, they're doing all the window trimmings. See? They got somebody working on them. They look like the primer in them. They're probably gonna paint them. They're probably like sanding them, filling in all the cracks. You know what I mean? Euro lifestyle, Euro style building. We got Starbucks on my left hand side. Now, if you don't know, Seattle, Washington is known for being like a coffee town. So, if you like coffee, you might want to check out some of Seattle's coffee. You got the little trolley. See the trolley? The Amazon one advertisement on the trolley. Fantasy 
What's this? The Devil's. Yo, this is a gentleman's club. It has um adult pleasure items. Yeah, they got like uh, lingerie. Oh, snap. Y'all read that? Well, if you're interested in this type of stuff, there you go. Oh, it's called the Devil's Triangle. What a name, the name of business. Yo, what's up, dude? You trying to go hang out at the Devil's Triangle tonight? Oh, look at that structure. Structure's pretty interesting. On 7th Ave, Lenora and 7th Ave. Margaritas, tacos, and good times. Look at this view right here. This view right here reminds me of Miami. Yeah, it reminds me of Miami because Miami got a lot of these type of buildings. All right, let's keep on going forward. Wow, that's one heck of a structure. Let's, let's cross the street. Let's cross the street. See how the police just drove by. Oh, wow, there's so many plants in there, y'all. That looks like a giant greenhouse. Wow, that's incredible. Welcome to the understory. Come inside and learn from artists, residents, as they explore nature, technology, and humanity with an artistic lens. Wow. Very interesting. A lot of people taking pictures. I keep seeing different groups taking pictures. Look like they got a little canopy out there. Got a lot of people taking pictures. Look at, look at, look at. Oh yeah, waterfall over here. I'm sorry, guys. I just noticed the little waterfall. You see the waterfall over there? Refined nail spa right in front. Amazon Go. Yeah, Amazon Go's headquarters is here, and I believe Microsoft. You got Chloe. Business called Chloe and Boquette. Or bouquet. Amazon Go. We're at Blankard. Or you can say Blanchard. Blankard and 7th. 7th and Blankard. Right, let's continue moving forward. Welcome to the regrade. That's what this building says. Welcome to the regrade. Wow, look at this building. Got a lot of glass, right? Yo, you know how they be having window cleaners? You know how people get paid to hang off the building and to clean windows? That's a lot of windows they got going on here. <laughs> That's a whole look. You you got work for life here. It'll take you seven months to paint, clean one building with a set of windows. Then you got to move to the next building. And by the time you get through all 40 skyscrapers, I'm just estimating. I don't know if there's 40 skyscrapers here. It's probably 20, 30, 15. I don't know. But after you get finished all the skyscrapers, by the time you get to the last one, you gotta go back to the first one. Yeah. Slu and you. There's a business over there called Slu and you. S L U and you. Waxology. The waxologybeauty.com. Pet waste transmits disease. Leash and clean up after your pet. And they provide doggy bags. Wow, look at this building. I want to point up so y'all can see it. See that? Massive, right? Slew after dark. Oh, it says it right here too. See, S-L-U after dark. Slew. Okay, so we're on our way to the Space Needle. We're going to, let's make this left here because there's a dog over there and I don't wanna, I'm trying to avoid any confrontations with, with dogs the best I could. Bright Horizons, early education and preschool. Yeah, one time I was at a park, I was walking my dog, my own business, me and Omi parked up, not parked up, but like we physically sat our behinds on a bench. We were near like a little checker table, 
by ourselves, mind our own business one Sunday morning, walking our dog, right? And then we parked up, meaning we sat down for about 15 minutes, and a random female, she walks her dog in the park, you know, people walking their dogs, and she kept getting closer and closer to us, and she had a big pit bull. Her pit bull was way bigger than, than Jersey. It was like twice, you know, body width, bass. It was a really big dog. Anyway, she kept getting closer and closer, and like, it got to a point where she was like, eight feet away from us and I'm holding my dog between my legs because I know how, you know, she tends to be ter territorial. We're at six and bell. Well, anyway, long story short, her dog got too close, Jersey finessed out of her leash and bit her dog. Yup, bit her dog. I'm like, oh my gosh, why in the world would you get that close? Look at all that graffiti and look at the space needle, guys. That's the famous Space Needle. So let's go across the street. It doesn't look like there's a successful area to cross. Wow, look at that couple right there. That's the couple that everyone aspires to uh, live like, right? Long, healthy life. Never let go, always holding hands. Oh, they split the pole. Bad luck for life. Sick now. <laughs> How many of y'all believe in that split the pole superstition, huh? All right, so we got people out and about. We're gonna cross the street. Fulcrum coffee. Remember I was telling y'all that they into that coffee stuff? Fulcrum coffee. I guess that's like a little cafe. GH Pasta Company. Oh, they make... Oh, it smells good. Oh, wow. That is neat. That smelled... Actually, that actually smelled good. It was a pasta company and they had pasta going on in there. I like pasta. How many of you guys like pasta? Italian food is specifically saucy, marinara-y, pasta-y stuff. It's like my favorite. One of my favorites. That's in the Jean Juarez building. Restaurant space for lease, you see? And I guess this was probably the restaurant that was here, maybe? Oh, no, no. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't look like it's open. Maybe it wasn't su successful, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard to to make money when you're spending out so much. I like graffiti. Espresso bar, deli, panini, hot bar, salad bar, breakfast and more. You got Whole Foods Market in front of us. We got walking sign, so we're gonna walk. We're on Battery Street, Burrielis and Battery. Check out these rentals. These are rentals, guys. This is a public transportation. You can rent them. They got e-bikes here, y'all. That's crazy, right? They got e-bikes here. I think. That's interesting because those are full size. I seen LA had the little e, e bikes, you know, little teeny ones with the 12 inch wheels. Those are like full bikes. Full bicycle. Oh, All right, we're almost at that space needle. We're about a half a block away. Once we get to the next block, you, you see it right there. Look up. You see it right there. It's like peeking out from the side of the building. And then from the Space Needle, we'll walk down to the waterfront. And then from the waterfront, we'll just work our way back towards the city. I'm not gonna be able to sh walk the whole entire downtown in one hour, but I'll show you as much as I'm humanly capable of showing you within an hour. Landscaping, somebody had to do that skate work. Oh, they got pool tables in here. Ouch, I just tripped. Don't you hate it when you trip? You ever trip so hard that it like sends a shock through your spine? You ever trip like, and you feel it like in your neck? <laughs> like you hit hard, it's like, ow. 
That's happened to me on a few occasions. Personal fitness. Strength training. Oh, they got weights and all that. It's like a gym. And then they got a pizza mart, bar and grill. Damn, that sucks. You go in to work out and then you probably got to smell the pizza next door. You know what I mean? And if you don't got discipline, then you're going to mess up your, your, your diet. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna allow these these pedestrians to walk by. All right, we're gonna continue moving forward. We're on Denny Way. Denny, D-E-N-N-Y, like Denny's. We got Walgreens across the street. Wow, they made that Walgreens in the National Bank. That was originally a bank building and they turned it into a Walgreens. Wow. skybelltown.com Look at that sign right there. That sign is a moving display. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It flips. I wonder how many seconds does it take to flip. Come on, flip. There you go. Y'all seen it? Oh, that was like magic. Yeah, that was like magic. Y'all can call me Harry Houdini. The Teku Cavern. Or the Tavern, I should say. Saturday or Sunday, zero to 10 hours worth of parking for 12 bucks. All right. I think I'm going to cross right here. We're at Taylor Ave. You got the Sentry right there across the street. The leasing office is also there. Living space, if you're able to afford this uh, environment, feel free. That tag up says Guido, TCU, Guido. All right, cross light, boom. You heard how they had the, the audio, the audible crosswalk? I guess for people who can't see the red light, they can at least hear, you know what I mean? And then they got the little push button. Those buttons that you push and it's supposed to speed up the process. Wow, look at this sitting area. Not only is it sitting areas, it looks like bike stands. You see, you could sit on the boulders or the, they're not a boulder, it's like a cube, like a giant rock, a rectangle rock. And then right next to it, looks like those are bike stands. You could probably lock your bike there, which I don't recommend. Tune doesn't recommend you lock your bike outside. Stop being lazy, take it inside. Why don't you? So this all looks like a block worth of living space. Like on my left, living space. You can look up top, probably all apartments. And then on my right, at Taylor 28, living space. Again, probably all apartments. Speaking of sitting space, check out this sitting space. Look at the design that they went with. Oh wow, there you go. You got a lot better view of it. Oh snap, you see somebody going up the side of it? You see how there's like a like a like an elevator? We're on John and Taylor Ave. You see that elevator? Somebody's going up it right now as we speak. That's cool. You yo, you know what it reminds me of? Men in black. That scene at, at the end with the roach. Hold up, this isn't where they shot that at, is it? I have to now go back to Men in Black and go on Google and Google the shooting location for that for that last scene. Cause it kind of remind me of that. That'd be crazy, right? Anyway, even if it is not where they shot it at, it still reminds me of it. Event parking, 10 bucks. Plenty of graffiti. Got a little food truck neighborhood kitchens on neighborhood oh wow look at that civic over there that civic over there has a a chameleon paint job you see it how it changes colors 
Watch, I'm gonna stare at it so y'all can see it change colors as we walk. You see that? It's a pretty cool paint job, right? It's called the chameleon paint job. It was really popular when it first came out, like around Fast and the Furious era. But that wasn't when it really first came out, but that's when it became like super popularized. Cause I remember shortly after that, a lot of people were in that paint job. Oh wow, look at that prelude across the street. I actually like it. That's an 80s prelude right there. You see it? The brown one. Oh man, I kind of want to see it. But I kind of want to go over here. Cause I got to continue with the tour. Anyway, from afar, I will document you, my friend, my fellow prelude, <laughs> my fellow Honda. Wow, that thing looks clean from afar. It's brown. I don't think brown looks neat. Look at somebody spray painted on the tree. By all means, they were gonna make sure their name was Saw. So it looks like there's a, I'm assuming a, a tram rail that runs probably to the observatorium, you see it? And that's the observatorium. So we're gonna make a left when we get to the corner and then we're gonna walk towards the water. I smell something burnt. Ugh. Something burnt, like burnt bread. See how they graffiti on that whole building? Those are called throw-ups. 90%, matter of fact, yeah, 90% of what you see on there is throw-ups, which is basically a term for a bubble letter. All right, so I think I want to cross here because we're right here next to the cart. This is Broad Street. They're sending up another elevator, as you can see. Check out that. That's the Mopop. Hashtag Mopop. Museum of Pop Culture. See how funky it's shaped? It's a pretty funky looking building, right? Museum of Pop Culture. All right, let's move forward. It's a red hand, but there's not really much traffic. I'm gonna let this car go by and that's it. Not really much traffic. That's that tram rail. You see the tram rail? And then that's the observatory base. You see that's the base of it. So there's a lot of pedestrians I'm assuming tourists, a lot of people are uh, out and about walking, enjoying the fresh air. I see people who look like they're commuting to and from work, probably to and from school. There you go, that's another look that you guys get a chance to look at. Look, and uh, uh, elevator is actually coming down right now as we speak, you see it? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's nice for y'all to get a chance to at least look at that. You got some art over here. You see this tree? Damn, somebody broke the window. So it looks like there's a long line over there, people waiting to go up to the observation deck. Supposedly there's a rotating restaurant up top. Well, not supposedly, <laughs> factually, there's a rotating restaurant. So if you're trying to eat in style and you don't mind getting a little seasick. All right, we're gonna stop right here. I'm gonna try to surveil the intersection. So you guys can see what's around me. You guys can take in the amount of people that are on foot. And again, I'm gonna give you one last look. And that is the Space Needle, ladies and gentlemen, over here in Seattle, Washington. Let's continue moving forward. Let's get away from the Space Needle. All right, let's move forward. I got another dog over here, go figure. Can't win. <laughs> dog after dog after dog after dog. Seattle's Needle Space Center. That's what they call it. Seattle Needle Space Center.
business called Caffeinated. These are all the businesses they have in this plaza. Yeah, Greckian Corner. Greckian. Gyros, burgers, pitas. Reminds me of like Greece. That's what that reminds me of. Greckian. Isn't Greckian related to Greece somehow, some way? Like if you're from Argentina, you're an Argentinian. So if you're from Greece, are you a Grecian? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Show you guys some of these uh, graffiti slaps. We got another dog coming up directly in front of us. That's how it was in Portland. When we was in Portland, boy, it was Portland full of dogs. Out of all the downtowns we've done been to thus far in 25, 26 states or so, the most dogs we've ever seen in the downtown area, I'm, I'm gonna just take a little bumper break here just so that dog can get ahead of us. But the most dogs was Portland by far. Portland. Even, even compared to this, Portland still had more dogs than here. In Portland, it was like every single corner we turned. There, you see the old head? He giving gas in his Porsche. Y'all saw him? Y'all heard it? He was like, yeah. All right. Sit here. We got traffic coming. So let's just wait. Fourth and Denny, fourth and Denny. We got a 7-Eleven right across the street. 7-Eleven food market and a Wells Fargo. Across the street, you got a Mantra, Mantra restaurant and bar, the ultimate Thai cuisine. We're on the 2800 block of Denny Way. That's the King County Metro powered by hybrid electric. So I noticed that it seems like they got hybrid electric vehicles, which if they're hybrid, I'm assuming they run, you know, gas and electricity. And then they also have straight electric public transportation, which is pretty cool. More efficient, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, we're on 4th and Clay Street, Clay. Fourth and clay. How many of you guys like working with clay in your lifetime? In my younger years, when I was in middle school, I was pretty cool with clay, you know, because I have an artistic background. Um, and I remember we had to do presentations for school. We got the Verve apartments on my left hand side. You know how they get you to build a diorama? Well, I think on two different occasions for my middle school project. I made like a clay diorama. Like on one situation, I made a whole amusement park and called it Waterworks. And it was out of clay and like uh, toothpicks and like popsicle sticks and stuff. But it was primarily clay, like, you know, the sculpting material, not play dough, but the clay, it's more, um, it lasts longer. Play dough tends to dry up, you know what I mean? It gets, you know, cracked up. Play, you can just sculpt it and leave it there and you can leave it out and it'll be, you know, fine. Yeah, clay was awesome. You would get it from like an art store, like AC Moore, Michaels. Watch the security on our left. Uh, Nyberg Locksmith. You got barrel wine on my left, sublime hair, cafes, a bunch of stuff. So we're probably going to cross the street here on 4th. 4th is gonna take us straight to the waterfront. And then from the waterfront, we'll head back towards the heart of the city. Uh, let's cross the street on 4th Ave. I just want to give you guys like a small peek at the waterfront. We're not going to be able to walk the whole waterfront. It's long. But I'll probably walk the waterfront for like a block and then we're going to cut back up. Because they got a pretty cool view. They got the ferries. You know, the ferry, the boats that you can ride. They got the ferry port over there. The watermark apartments on my right hand side at regrade 
320 Cedar Street, Seattle, Washington, United States of America. <laughs> oh man, check this out. They got full size alleys. A lot of full size alleys that you can drive through. They're not streets, they're actually alleys. You see it? Full size alleys. You got the Dorian across the street, the Dorian at Belltown. Looks like it could be like maybe hotel space. We're approaching Third Ave. Again, leasing office space. The Kroll Map Company on our right. K R O L L. Kroll. All right, we're going to stop right here. We'll look left. Gonna look right and i was always taught to look left one more time because you never know a car come out of nowhere and whack them that happened to me before when i was a kid yep i got hit by a car when i was riding rollerblades i was probably like 11 10 and i was riding rollerblades and somebody in a camaro hit me yep <laughs> not funny but yeah look at that mural that's cool yeah he was freaked out he was scared and there was a lot of witnesses and he jumped out. Hey, at least he didn't hit and run. He jumped out. He kept telling me, let me take you to the hospital. Let me take I'm like, no, bro. Like, what you think? Stranger danger. Like, I'm not gonna get in a car with some dude that just hit me. For all I know, that was the ploy. You know what I mean? Let me hit him and then say I'm gonna take him to the hospital and then just take him home. <laughs> but he gave me his number and he said if there's any issues, give him a call. So I remember going home and telling my pop when I was a kid, I was telling my pop, I got hit by a car, blah blah blah, 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 blah. And the guy gave me his number here. So my pop called him and he was apologetic. He said if there's anything that he can do, et cetera, et cetera. So he was nice. And I wasn't like truly injured. He hit the rollerblade. The rollerblades, if you know how rollerblades are, they're pretty heavy duty, plastic, hard plastic. So yeah, I live to see another day. But the way I got hit was that left, right, left thing. I didn't look left that, that third time. And I guess he came out of nowhere. Yeah, it was like a, like a, how do I say marble? What's a little darker than sky blue? Not necessarily navy blue, not royal blue, not baby blue, but in between that anyway. It's almost like a teal, but it's not a teal. Yeah, the day spa, manicure, Seattle nails on the left, day spa. And over here you got some, some window, uh, brake hands. They usually use uh, brake fluid for that. That's how you make that chemical right there. In order to stain the windows, you use brake fluid. Yeah, as a graffiti artist, when you make like a like a crink mop, you know, crink is an actual brand for a medium to use for hitting up your name. You know, you got spray paint, you got markers, you know, you got paint, you got all that stuff, right? Well, you got something called crink. Crink is like a, a really liquidy substance that runs it makes a really runny drip like that but you can make your own at home with uh a box of pens like big pens and brake fluid and it will stain up a window this isn't something that's not already known though a lot of people know that at least the people who know know the crazy part about seattle is they got steep hills I'm talking steep, steep hills. So, yeah. <laughs> we about to go down this crazy hill right here. Now, I guess going down isn't much of an issue as going up. I'm assuming the people here in Seattle and San Francisco have the strongest caps of a lifetime. This isn't gonna work out properly. We got another dog over here. Had to cross away from that dog. CJ's Eatery, Cedar Street. All right, we're going downhill, guys. I gotta slow it down right here because it's so downhill. Let me level out the camera. You see, I had to level out the camera. So downhill that is literally pushing me. <laughs> It's pushing me. Now you gotta have some good knees to go up and down these hills. Cause if you ain't got good knees, you're in trouble. I'm 
What's up, sir? Yeah. Yeah, he looked at me. He like caught crystal clear eye contact with me. So hey, I might as well say hello, sir. <laughs> Don't look at me and not just say hi. Oh man, this is straight up steep. Look at let me level out the camera for y'all. This is level right here, but y'all can't see the floor. Now I gotta go down in like an angle. Are you seeing an angle? Yeah, super steep. The park. We're at Western Ave. This building on my right is called The Park. P A R C. Is that a K? P A R C. For all my flower lovers, I know I got a lot of viewers that like flowers. A lot of nice flowers, right? Colorful. Right, let's be careful. We got our red hand that's telling us to wait. We're in the intersection of Cedar and Western. We got one more crazy downhill to go. And then after that, we're gonna make a left and then <laughs> we're gonna have crazy uphills. Oriental Medicine Center, Acu acupuncture. Yeah, it is going downhill, really steep. Oh wow, that building right there is blocking the waterfront. That's Elliot. The waterfront's on Alaskan. So we're probably still about a block away from Alaskan. You got Joseph Arnold Lofts on my right. Coming fall 2021, you got the little VL e-bike. The cool thing about those e-objects is that you don't gotta worry about them getting stolen. You know what I mean? You can leave it anywhere you want. And all right, if they steal it, there's plenty more. You know, you don't gotta worry about like replacing it. That's the company's responsibility. West Cedar and Elliot. You got Academy Athletics. It looks like a gym. You got something that's called Zulili. See that, Zulili? Let's make this left, let's cross. We're on Elliott Ave. This is the 2600 block of Cedar Street. It sounds like somebody got a generator on. Probably doing some type of work somewhere, because I hear it, it's loud. Look at the design on the side of this parking garage. You see the choice they went with? You see how they made it like that? All right, we're at Vine Street and Elliott. We're gonna make one more right, cause I gotta at least give y'all a peek at that waterfront. Listen, if I can't get y'all back to the heart of the city, I'm gonna be content with at least showing y'all the waterfront. Got to document a glimpse of that. Storage. Oh, we're right next to the aquarium. Oh, that's awesome. We're at Elliot and Vine. Oh, look at that garden right there. That's a nice garden. Yeah, a lot of colorful flowers. It looks like a community garden. There's like a staircase that goes up to it. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna wait for this light. Eh, no, I don't think we need to wait for it to turn green because we're just gonna kill time. There's nobody really coming, so. All right, guys. Well, I'm happy to say that we at least made it to the waterfront. I'm getting a little worried there. <laughs> no train horn. Ah, that's interesting. No train horn means that they don't press the train horn. Be cautious. Oh yeah, I smell a weird smell. 
it smells like this building right here. This building on my right, like a, you know, like the exhaust. Ooh, like dusty. This, this right here stinks. See those? Yeah, walking by them stinks. It smells like an old warehouse. It has like an attic smell. Kind of like, you know what I mean? Like if I could describe it like that, an attic smell. Like a box of dust that hasn't been touched in 55 years. All right, we're going over tracks, y'all. Yeah, we going over tracks. We going over tracks. And there goes the waterfront. This is neat. We got the Seattle police across the street. Check it out, the aquarium. Port of Seattle. That's neat. All right, um, we got Seattle police. And look at that view. You see that water? All right, I'm gonna cross here. Even though there's a weight hand, but there's a green light for cars. So guess what? Vroom, vroom, meep, meep. I'm a car. Wow, look at the water, guys. Just look at that. Just take a look. Crazy, right? Ain't that crazy? It's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Let's keep on moving forward because we're short on time here. Wow, you know what's scary though? The scary part is the way that those uh, poles that hold up the the pier, how they look. They look, first of all, a lot of them got like voids in them. You know, a void, meaning that the water probably partitioned the wood. Oh my gosh, that doesn't look like a safe structure at all. Look at that. I mean, there's so many pieces of wood, so it probably is relatively safe. But like, I wonder if it got a life expectancy. You know what I mean? I guess they'll replace them one by one, I guess. One by one, maybe add more. I don't know. So y'all see, y'all see some of the skyline right there? You see it? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool skyline. They got a lot of buildings, man. Comparable cities that I've seen thus far with a wide range of high rises, I would say comparably. I think Charlotte comes up like at fifth. I think Miami comes up at like fourth. I think Nashville comes, no, no, no. I think Nashville comes up at fourth. Miami comes up at like third. And then Texas, Dallas, to be specific, would come up probably like as, did I say sec third yet? I think I did say third. Second, and then, no, no, BS, third, right? Nah, and then you got LA, and then you got C Seattle. So I'm trying to figure out how to place them. But anyway, those those five cities, which one has the most? Because Dallas was mild. Dallas had a nice skyline. This has a nice skyline. Miami has a hell of a skyline. Yeah, Nashville skyline was pretty cool. And then a lot of the other cities, the big cities, they did have like high rises, but it wasn't like an overabundance. They had like you know twelve eight, nine, 10 tall buildings. Look, we're going uphill, guys. Oh my gosh. Talking about doing my cardio workout today. Leisure loving this. Leisure walking in place with me. <laughs> She's like, give me them hills too and I'll tackle them any day. I know she likes walking up hills. It's good for your heart. It's good for your calves and all that stuff too, right? Wow, I feel like I'm really working out here. I'm telling you. Woo. So some of the grades I saw here were like 17%, 14%. I think a 17 and a 14. I think those are the steepest I've seen yet. I don't know if they're steeper. Oh, wow. Yeah, you feel the burn, baby. We're at Wall and Elliott. Wall Street. Check out that dog across the street and look who's paying attention to the dog right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, dogs always want to bark first, huh? And then Jersey going to bite him. And then <laughs> it's like, yo, why you back talking? I may not understand what you say, but my dog does. <laughs> the dog's like, your owner's a punk. Your owner's hair is stupid. Your owner's face looks dumb. And Jersey's like, what, what? Don't be talking about my owner like that. Don't be talking about my owner like that. Why haven't you smashed the thumbs up button, huh? Ruff, ruff. Like DMX. <laughs> Yo, this is vicious. I'm a walker, y'all. I'm a heavy walker. I walk a lot. But I ain't gonna frog. I don't walk these type of hills a lot, boy. Oh, man. Yes. You know what I just thought of? Brilliant. She got all that energy. Look at that. She's pulling me. Pull me up this hill, Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. She gonna be so tired. When we be taking these long walks, when they get into the car, they go straight to sleep. Give them some water. Boom, they go straight to sleep. All right, let's cross the street. We're at Wall Street and Western. Wall Street and Western. Elysian Brewing. Oh boy, here's another one, guys. Oh boy. If you guys want to see how the street disappears, look it. You see how the street disappeared? It's like you're going off the edge of a cliff. Woo! It got me sweating though, because the sun beaming in my face. I'm wearing black sweats, black thermal, black hoodie. I think I got a top thermal on too. How I get stuck on this scooter, y'all? I straight up got stuck on one of these scooters. See, bad idea to leave it right in the middle of the walkway. I'm across the street. Let's walk through this alley. Ha <laughs> two and cheating. The alley level. <laughs> yeah, cheat code. I just hit y'all with an up, down, left, right, R1, R2, R3. Circle, 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 triangle, X square. Cheat code mode. I got the graffiti. One thing I noticed, graffiti's in damn near every state. I think every single state I went to, there was an area that looked just like this. Welcome to Belltown. Wow, look at that. Let's go right here. There's some steps. It looks like this is a parking garage too, or a parking lot, you see? Because there's a little uh, payment kiosk. Go ahead, Jersey, show them how it's done. All right, we got Macrina Bakery across the street, Macrina. We're approaching Battery Street. We're at First Ave and Battery Street. <laughs> Some lady was like, hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. That's what stirs her up. She don't like people squeaking at her. Like, if you say hi to Jersey, babe, what's up, Jersey? Don't be like, hey, Jersey girl, Jersey girl, do this. She, she don't like that. She don't like people talking to her squeaky. Oh, wow, there's two dogs. Let's turn. 